So I do remember meeting Kurt and it must have been eighth grade homeroom we had together. And uh, he was a little dorky, a little nerdy then. And um, I had a crush on him. I did not want to admit it. And so I tried to keep it a secret for a long time. Pretty much immediately we've had a crush on her, probably all throughout eighth grade. Um, I technically, we, I think I asked her out uh, over AIM, as, as one would do in middle school, and um, we quote unquote date it between the summer of 8th and ninth grade. We got into high school, we stayed pretty good friends, um, but you know, we didn't really run into each other that often until, oh, well, 11th grade. And uh, we think we started having classes together again, and those, that original, original crush I had in eighth grade, and it didn't really go away, so. I remember then again, it was in 11th grade, kind of thinking back um, that, you know what, no, there was something there. And I remember trying to tell him without telling him by, we went to the movies with friends, and I happened to be the one to drop him off and I kissed him on the cheek. And I've told him since then that that was my way of like, hey. <laughs> and he was like, I don't even remember that. So he probably won't remember that. It was subtle. She ended up going to Penn State um, for a semester and I went to Elizabethtown College. But that lasted about a semester and then she, she transferred over. And then we were in college together. Oh man. Yeah, it is crazy. We're 29 now. We've been dating each other since we're 16. <laughs> so there's, it, I mean, it can go on and on and on. Um, you know, we, we did the long distance thing for a while. My job took me out here to Flagstaff. It took me to Wyoming, Colorado, and she was back in Pennsylvania. And finally, when I got into grad school, we moved to Alabama. Uh, yeah. We were able to kind of get back together and be be together um, permanently. We moved in together. When it's like now it's now it's time for us to take that next step. And we were in Germany after we went from one of my bridesmaids, Allie. Her wedding was in England, and we made a trip of it to go to Germany. And um, I kind of thought maybe he would propose that trip. We're in England for our friend's wedding. She caught the bouquet. It's just like, uh, it really put the pressure on. And my, I mean, even going into that trip, I knew it was going to happen. And uh, then we went ice skating on uh, this outdoor ice rink that was in the middle of all like the Christmas decorations. And it was really pretty. And he managed to get the ring in his pocket at some point, And I stopped to take a break. And he came around and he actually. <laughs> skated down on one knee on the ice <laughs> and proposed. <laughs> uh, and uh, he said he, he has a bruise, he had a bruise on his knee for a bit, which is fun. I, up, I did a really like fast lap, I started skating. And then I'm coming around the corner and I dropped my knee and immediately realized like I'm going way too fast. And so I permitted to drop to one knee and then drop to one knee. Like my knee slams onto the ice, like immediately is like I'm in pain. I pull the ring out, Matt, I don't even know how the ring got out because I was like bent over, my knee was hurting. I basically put my arm out, like slammed into the boards, and like slammed into Lauren basically as I'm like pulling the ring out and I'm like, will you marry me? I'm, like basically falling over and she just started like laughing at me and she didn't even say like yes or oh my god, she was just like, are you serious? Like what's she had no idea, like she was like, she's like, you have the ring, you like flew into me, what's happening right now? But she was so, like, so surprised, like, there's no, I mean, there's no better way to do 
I just want to remind you two to be as patient with your marriage as you are with Mac and Dusty, and as spontaneous as picking up and moving to Alabama, and then Arizona, and then God, who even knows where's next, so we'll find out from there. And I can't wait to see the life you two build together. Love you both. To Lauren and Kurt. Thank you.